Good afternoon and welcome to St. Eugene School's School News. This is Arlene Sequera, your anchor. Today is Friday, November 20th, 2015. The news team has a few news items to share about events and activities and also inform you about some up upcoming events. Here's our top story today. On Friday, November 13th, the duck bus came to our school to teach us about how to stick together and stop others from bullying people. Each class came outside into the parking lot and did some fun activities using duct tape. Then, they were able to take a cool tour of the inside of the duck bus and see various designs for duct tape. And now here's Kristen Aaron. This past Monday, Good News Gazette started. Good News Gazette is a newsletter written by a group of students who take time out of their lunch recess to write an article for the parish families. It is printed every trimester and inserted into the St. Eugene Parish Bulletin. It explains what fun activities go on at St. Eugene. And now here is Claire McBlain. This is Claire McBlain reporting. In the upcoming weeks, grades K-2 through two will, go, will be going to the movies. They will go to see the new film Peanuts on Monday, November 30th. In technology news, Mrs. Janicek has been using Google Slides and Google Classroom to teach students how to prop how to properly do presentations to their classes on different topics. And now here is Carrie McGonigal. This is Carrie McGonigal reporting. This month, the whole school did a holiday food drive by collecting food for the less fortunate so they can also endure their holiday. Outside or inside of the classrooms, there is a paper with multiple turkeys on it. The turkeys represent the amount of food the class brought in. If your class brings in the most food you are assigned, then you will get a free 30-minute period of playing on the iPads. Please remember that this is for a great cause, so make sure you bring in at least one. The food drive ends today, November 20th, and we hope you have at least brought in one by now. Thank you for your donations. And now, here is Chilea Dele with sports. This is Shalea Adele with sports. Basketball is back. The JV and varsity boys teams have started to practice, preparing for the season. The JJV team will start having their practices soon after Thanksgiving. Some of the girls' teams have started. But once the rest of them start, once we know about it, you'll know. And if you are part of any CYO team, please let us know about any games or practices. In the meantime, while football season is still going on, good luck to all our football players. The Holy Cross flag football team has the game tomorrow at Scullion Field in Clifton Heights. And now, here's Ryan McGonigal with weather. This is Ryan McGonigal with today's weather. Today is sunny with wind at 60 miles per hour. The temperature is 44, 54 right now, but will go down to the high 30s overnight. The weekend temperatures are about the same as today, but with less sun. Have a great weekend. And now, here's Rachel Switlisky. This is Rachel Swilisky reporting. This is what's happening next week. There will be Thanksgiving prayer service on Wednesday at 10.15. School will dismiss at 11.30 and be closed for the Thanksgiving holiday on Thursday and Friday. The Bidio Arts is next weekend on Friday, November 27th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on Saturday, November 28th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come to see it for live music, gourmet food, and of course, lots of art. Some of the art that will be featured will be St. Eugene students. Here, the St. Eugene School Band at 11 on Saturday. And now back to Arlene. We have a special guest, Jimmy Kopic, in grade four with birthday wishes for next week. This is Jimmy Kopic with birthdays. Happy birthday to Mary Griner in seventh grade. Riley Hayes and Mason Scolari, Scolari in fourth grade. Ar Ar Avery, Avery Grow, uh, Joey Roberts and Rockton D. Desparo in third grade, and Chelsea Mar Martin in second grade. Now back to Arlene. Thanks for watching. Send any classroom news to our news team in the computer lab. 
If you play on a CYO sports team, make sure to keep Chile updated. This is Arlene Sequeira for the SES News Team. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll be back on Thursday, December 3rd.